walking over there when the Berlin Wall was coming down. I was there with John McLaughlin, my colleague, and he said, how did Luther know he could stand up against the church? And this is an old Jesuit talking. How did you know you could stand up to the Republicans, the real clowns out there? Well, we can start with Limbaugh and the rest of them and, and you know, the whole crowd. Uh, what's his name, Beck, the whole number of them. How come you knew the way to beat these guys was to put them on defense? Because they're bullies, and a bully always backs down. Don't we all know that? That's what happened here. Congresswoman, when the hostage is reading her own ransom note and when she is reading one written for her. So much for Congresswoman Brown Waite. I could go on all night here and never exaggerate in the slightest. Just a moment for a conversation, but isn't it interesting how the Republicans are just so offended? They're kicking up dust over Grayson's comments. Grayson said the Republican health care plan is don't get sick, and if you do get sick, die quickly. He's relating to a lot of people. Now, when asked to apologize, this is a classic. This is how you apologize to the righties. Several Republicans asked me to apologize. Well, I would like to apologize. I would like to apologize to the dead. And here's why. According to this study, health insurance and mortality in U.S. adults, which was published two weeks ago, 44,789 Americans die every year because they have no health insurance. That is more than 10 times the number of Americans who've died in the war in Iraq. It's more than 10 times the number of Americans who died in 9-11. I apologize to the dead and their families that we haven't voted sooner to end this Holocaust in America. Public support for the tandem of public and private health care options, nearing three-quarters support from all Americans. And a key Democratic senator says she's not sure her Democratic colleagues will support it. In our third story in the countdown, the natural solution here, get new Democratic senators. The new CBS News New York Times poll shows 72% of Americans say they want a choice between a government-run plan and a private one, and that 57% are even willing to pay more taxes to get it. The poll also shows Americans trust the government more than private insurers, half saying Washington would do a better job at providing coverage, 59% saying it would be better at holding down costs. Yet this weekend, Senator Diane Feinstein called cost control such a problem that the president, even though Democrats have the numbers, may not have the votes. We bring God into health care. Of course, we don't. The right wing does. Uh, get a load of these quotes. First, from Olive Tree Ministries, Jan Markle says uh, to her audience, her radio audience, here's what you can do. Your congressmen and senators are coming home for much of August. They're going to have a town hall meetings all over the place. You need to go there and give them an earful. The ideal thing to do is to go there to their town hall and read them the riot act in Christian love. But read them the riot act on this issue of health care. As people are getting a little out of control at these town halls, you really want to encourage people to read them the riot act? Okay, it's just not responsible. I mean, I'm not gonna, nobody's going to shut down her radio show. Nobody's going to tell her she can't do it. But I wouldn't use that word. Just a little sensibility, right? Okay, so we're going to be just getting warmed up here. By the way, she says you should go to, this is from the Minnesota Independent. She says you should go to all these town hall events uh, except Michelle Bachman's because she really loves Michelle Bachman, and she says uh, she's one of my favorite people, and you should never bother or harass her. So harass all other congressmen, but Bachman's goal, so you get a sense of her. The Minnesota Family Council writes, some may ask, what does God have to do with our health care system? For one, he's created the government as an institution in society to do certain things. When we reject his design for government, in a sense, we're rejecting him. Truly non-profit, wieldy, round up and knock round down government from helping you pay your medical bills with about a billionth of the recklessness with which it is still paying Halliburton and its spin-offs to kill your kids.
who were bought and sold to defend this con game of an American healthcare system against the slightest encroachment. The Republican Party has decided to go all in, all in on their effort to kill health care reform in this country. If you've been following the health care debate even a little bit over the past month, you've probably heard President Obama calling on Congress to vote on health care reform before the August recess, before members of Congress go home to their districts for the whole month of August. Why does the timing of this matter? Why was the president so insistent on getting something done before lawmakers leave D.C. for the month? Well, today we learned that during the recess, the Republican National Committee will spend a million bucks over the course of just one month campaigning against health reform. A million dollars to offer their own health care reform idea? No. A million dollars to suggest Republican alternatives to the Democrats' plans? No. A million dollars to stop the whole idea of health care reform in its tracks? Ding, 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 ding. Yes. Over the course of the next month, the Republican National Committee says it will blanket the country with TV and radio ads attacking health care reform. The ads will reportedly run in 33 states, denouncing the whole idea of changing the health care system as dangerous. Now, Democrats have 60 seats in the Senate. They have a huge majority in the House. Because of that, ultimately, it's on them to get health care reform done. But Republicans are doing their darndest. And even as Democrats split and split and split on this issue, Republicans have carved out a singular, unmistakable role for themselves for themselves here. They aren't just trying to be a speed bump on the way to health care reform. They're trying to be a spike strip. They're trying to stop the whole idea of it dead.